BAC do best of all. They go bust, just vanish. Three years later, there's a meteorite strike in Wyoming, and they come back as Vought American. Meteorite? The Homelander? The Homelander! The boys at Vought had finally found their niche. This is one secret origin everybody knows. Little baby at the bottom of a crater, not even a spaceship to his name. Come all the way from the stars alone. Inside a week, he's a grown boy. A week after that, he's a teenager. He fell out of the sky, for Christ's sake. He's a miracle. But they found him out on the prairie. He couldn't be more American. It's perfect. It's a bunch of bullshit, too. He's been in a silo in South Dakota for 18 years, with a hydrogen bomb strapped to his ass, until they're sure they can trust him. The story's for the press, who lap it up like cream, of course. Hell, doesn't everyone. They sure as shit lap him up. Bought have taught him well, and he's a willing pupil. He gets that smile just right. And when he speaks, shit all bets are off. He's humble, so he don't intimidate the men. He's vulnerable, so the women get to add a little romance to their fuck fantasy. The right like him, because he's powerful. And he's ours. The left like him because he's smart. And he's got a sense of humor. So at last, this walking goddamn bomb is human. But where did he... Ah, they fucking grew him. First of a new breed. Vaughts had a team manipulating Compound V, refining it. They inject it in a fetus, implant the thing in some retarded broad. Gills are stone dead at birth. Not that anyone gives a shit about that. Retarded? Wait a minute, how does it kill her? Don't know for sure. Whatever it does, it takes out the entire medical team handling the bird, too. Hence the goddamn H-bomb. The woman's from some drug trial Vought's been running. Turns out to have no legal guardian. Just her bad luck, I guess. Anyhow, he grows up and he calms down. And he's such a big success, they do it again. They get real good at it. Black Noir is first. Then Maeve, then Jack from Jupiter, the Deep, the Lamplighter, then Mr. Marathon. He's the fuck A-Train replaced a year or two ago. They do it seven times. There's been soup since the 40s, but they can all officially go screw. These guys are the nukes to their sticks of dynamite. Bart have something they can work with at last. They know how to play the system. They got it sewn up real tight. But up till now, they've had a shitty product. So, the seven are the only ones Vought came up with this way? They're stronger than everybody else? There's a couple G-fucks might come close to them. Stormfront from Payback, maybe. But they're just accidents. The seven are bred to be the best. So why just seven? Kid, the shit butcher pumped into your neck cost 19 billion bucks a pop. And all it does is guarantee a permanent boost to the system in one shot. Which puts you ahead of four out of five soups, by the way. You imagine what it costs to grow one of these assholes from the ground up? Jings! Things in there you don't want to think about, believe me. The seven take off big time. Hell, they're like a movie come to life. The merchandising alone doubles Vought Americans' profits for the first two years. Bell, Dow, GE, and the rest of them, they're watching all of this like hawks. They never understood before just why Vought sunk so much into soups over the years. There was a thing in 44 where VAC convinced Ike to try a team in front of the line, and Greg Mallory can tell you how that turned out. Hang on a minute. Who's Greg Mallory? All in good time, my friend. Vought's competitors decide to go for the jugular. They got no choice. It's either step up or be bought out. So they go after Jonah Vogelbaum. VAC pulled him out of Germany in the 30s. His family was meant to join him stateside, but someone fucked up and they died in the camps. He's the one who came up with Compound V. He didn't want to breed super fucks for the Nazis, so he got in touch with Vaughn. Been working for them ever since. The Seven are his triumph after a lifetime of trial and error. But he never seems to give a shit. It could be the work matters more than the results. 
It could be his wife and kids are on his mind. Every day for over 40 goddamn years. Because when these assholes have him kidnapped, and they say, guess what, you're working for us now. You're gonna give us soups that make Vought's team look like clockwork toys. Vogelbaum's reaction is to slit his fucking wrists.